<clears throat> okay, so first I want to say that I fully condone and recommend that you purchase the font. But this little trick um, I've used a few times when I just need to recreate this image. Um, <clears throat> so what, what you would do is once you identify the font, um, you can go to a font website and or the maker's website and, and find the font. Okay, and a lot of times they'll have a thing where you can test your text. So, um, this one, you just type it in here. Front line, and I, we can see that the T is different, so I'm gonna type this in all caps. See, the T is different, okay. Um, and I'm gonna do as large as it'll go. Doesn't look big enough. Uh, okay. So then I'm going to zoom in with Chrome. You can do Control Plus to like scroll in, uh, zoom in. Okay. So that's as big as it'll get without breaking, I think. Yeah. So then I'm going to take a screenshot. wrong button. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot of the word frontline. And it's going to go into my capture program. I'm just going to copy it. So basically, if whatever software you use, you could do it that way. Um, go into Illustrator, paste it in there. And then I'm going to use image trace. And you it actually traced it already, but you can see there's it's rounding some places, like in this T. So basically, I want to get this T as crisp as possible. So I'm going to paths way up and corners way up. There you go. Looks great. Now I'm going to expand. Double click to get in and delete the white. Double click out. And I'm just going to change this to a color. Uh, so again, it's not perfect, but it's faster and better than if you were to try and recreate with the pen tool or um, or trying to vector trace it with uh, Illustrator. So there's that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Then. We can go back and type the word soldier. And, oops, the S is different. Let me retype it. Soldier. Okay. Same thing. Screenshot. I'm going to copy it. Switch back to Illustrator. Gonna zoom out because it's gonna be big, I think. Yeah. Um, image trace, same thing. Lots of corners and lots of paths. Expand. Double click to get in. Um, and delete all the white. Double click to get out, and we'll make this a red also so we can see. Um, now the one thing, I think, because that spacing looks different. So we're going to bring this, oh, you know what I did do? Let me back up. We'll go back to the site. I forgot that it's not bold, so it's, uh, I think it might be a semi, either semi bold or regular. Let's try regular. Oops. Just zoom through this, hopefully. Okay, now we're back where we were. So I chose a different font and did the same steps. Double click to get out, color change, and we will resize. 
Turn that up into there. And then I think, so the, yeah, the letters are spaced differently. So I'm just gonna double click to get in, select these, and just shift them over. Unselect that one, shift this over, unselect. You get the idea. So again, I, I condone and, you know, I'm not trying to steal it per se. Um, so buy the fonts if you're going to use them to create stuff. This was, this is a client job that I just needed to retrace the artwork. Um, so I, I just needed to get it done. And then for, oh, let's go this way. I'll take the logo. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Take the logo and I will vector trace the logo and get these lines as crisp as I can. And then I'll come back with the pen tool and fix that. But I didn't have to mess with any of the font. So let's get that image trace going. And lots of crisp lines, corners. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, expand it. Double click to get in. Select all the white and delete it. And actually, we can select all this here and delete it. Double click to get out and change this to red. There we go. There is our vector piece done as fast as possible. <laughs> um, but basically, using the website to type out, you know, the trial version of the font. Zooming in and getting a clean screenshot of it and then vectoring that. So I hope that quick little tip, um, first of all, was quick, but I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments.